question is, does this Finnish fighter Willard Pishpanen really believe here now against Lenny Dawes? Does he feel that he can turn this round? It's been excellent so far from Dawes, it's been one-sided, Pishpanen looks to be tiring. Is there a way back into the fight for it? Another strong start to a round here from Lenny Dawes. No glimmer of light at all for his opponent. Excellent work again. Yeah, I think that hurt Peaceman and then to the body, that right hand. That was a, a good shot from Dawes. I think he felt that land. And Peaceman and backed onto them ropes, so that hurt him a little bit. And again, Dawes growing in confidence. I've been very impressed with his, his work rate up to now. Can he keep this going? Is the big question. Temp historically would suggest that he's got more chance of doing it than Peachman, having been the championship distance four times. Just one from the fin, and probably not at this pace. I think David, if he, if he stepped on the gas a little bit here and sustained a little bit more pressure, I really believe he could force a stoppage here, which would be an excellent victory for Lenny Dawes. I think he's dominated, as we've said, um, in terms of his technique, the work rate. But now I'd just like to see that stoppage really to, to cap off a real good performance. And I think if he just steps it up now and goes again, he could force a stoppage here. The signs are there that Pishman and he's really starting to tire. Yeah, he mustn't take risks and throw away what he's built here, but it does seem on the cards. Some more of those combinations landing, and surely Pishman would be out of there. The accuracy has been really impressive as well from Lenny Dawes. Very accurate with that jab, but also with the combinations. I think what maybe Lenny Dawes should be doing as well now, he's probably concentrating more on those body shots. They seem to have more of an effect than, than the head punches. And from my own experience in the game, obviously they hurt a lot more than the head shots. And, all boxers will tell you they prefer to take headshots than body punches, believe you me. And they hurt more when you're as tired as Pishpanin is as well. And great work from Dawes, a couple of uppercuts and then that right hand chopping onto the head of Pishpanin. Yeah, you see, now he's testing the resolve of Pishpanin now. The signs are clearly there that he's struggling. Can Lenny Dawes just sense it and step it up? This is better. Flashed another body shot under the elbow there of Pishpanen. He is stepping it up towards the end of this round. Okay. All right, listen. Looking brilliant in there. Looking brilliant in there. Just again. Listen, I'm going to keep on and keep on. Yeah, game's getting a bit repetitive with the dominance from Dawes here, but some lovely work from him again in that round. Landing with a great right hand to the body there, then whips his left up at, sorry, right up through the middle. And he's always boxing at distance and boxing sensibly. Other people will get out. So that means you've got to stay patient. You're breaking him down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep breaking him down. All right? He's starting to mark up a bit as well. All right? So just keep doing what we're doing. Stay focused, stay clear in your mind. Keep what? off that jab, yep, yeah? no problem. Set side then. Okay? Yeah. Doing brilliant. Doing absolutely brilliant. Keep it up. Round eight then. And Lenny Dawes of Morton absolutely in control. And maybe the stoppage on the cards for him here. The man in the black and gold trunks. He's being told by his corner, stay patient and it will come. They don't want risks, they want continued excellence in there and they want the win. Yeah, a good performance from Lenny Dorsey and a sensible display in the corner there also. Very, very calm, just telling him to keep focused and keep boxing at range behind his jab and that's what he's doing, boxing to instructions. Yeah, a little sign there you see from Peachman with that right hand. But if he's going to deliver that shot, he's got to get up close. And again, he must start moving the head. He's too easy a target to hit here, the Finn.
every time Tishkanen has even a little bit of success. And he pays for it. And that's been his problem all night long here. Dawes looks the fresher fighter and he caught Tishman in that. Yeah, Tishman had made a mistake there, leading with the left up to the body, left himself open and gets caught as he's coming in. What we need to see from Dawes maybe now is he's throwing a few feints just to unlock that defence a little bit more from Tishman in because some sort of the fin, he just holds those hands very, very high and it's hard to penetrate that guard, so he really needs uh, maybe a feint to try and draw, draw something from his opponent and then whip a shot over. And the Tishman is even thinking about winning the fight, he's going to have to do something spectacular here. Tishman Tishman, and he's definitely more open when he's actually throwing punches himself. His guard isn't too good as he's throwing the shots, he doesn't get the punches back to the on-guard position very quickly, and that's why he's open. Well, that's great work again. Lovely uh, straight left there from Lenny Dawes, and forward with the right up, uppercut. And his fans are getting excited in here. I think they sense what you do, Richie, that the stoppage might be on the cards. Good work again there from Dawes. Uppercut there from Tishpinen. Yeah, that was a good shot there from Tishpinen. Dawes just making the mistake of just standing on the inside a little bit too long there. And so his opponent reminds him that, hey, I'm still here, right up to the guard. Good punch. Tishpinen tried to plant his feet and throw a left hook there, but didn't connect. Another round for Lenny Dawes. Okay, listen, we're just getting drawn into a few yeah, straight yeah, yeah. lines, aren't we? Okay? So all he's doing is single shots now. Angles, angles, angles. Four rounds to go then. And Villa Fishman needs something. Approaching a miracle here. The man in the red and white shorts from Finland. Up here against Lenny Dawes, who's well, producing arguably one of his best performances. Signs that Fishman in is tiring. Maybe that left hand is getting a little bit low as well to set him up for the Dawes right hand. Bit of a spring in his step in this round, Fishman in. He had a couple of decent right hands in that last 20 or 30 seconds, giving him a little bit of confidence. But uh, from Dawes now, we probably need to see more combinations going in. There you go, that's a little bit better, and then push him. Opponent back again. Yeah, there were just some signs of sloppiness from Lenny Dawes in that previous round, and he mustn't let that creep into this performance. Yeah, well, his corner have pointed out on there that they wanted to come in at different angles, little side steps here and there. He was coming on too many straight lines according to his corner in that last round, that's why he was getting caught. So the odd side step here and there from Lenny Dawes is what's needed definitely to get back to that more dominant display. And talking of straight lines, as you pointed out, on many occasions, Fishman is uh, not quite a static target, but a pretty comfortable target for Dawes. And that's not going to change as he tires. I think Tishpanen could be a lot more dangerous if he, if he literally had more movement with his head, so it's a tougher hot target to hit. And then you're drawing your lead, you're drawing the lead of your opponent, and then you can whip the odd shot over the top. Gum shield again. For the third time in the fight. 2-1 to Dawes, I think it's been two, hasn't it? To Lenny Dawes, Gum Shield's coming out. And Teach has been one. Does Dawes' staying power start to really kick in now? The warning there for punching around the back of the head. Right to the body there, those really crunching blows that will hurt Peachman. You can see it take the wind out of it. Yeah, definitely. You see him just slow, don't you? And there's no movement when he's taking those shots. Certainly having an effect on Peachman and downstairs. 
Just wonder at what point will the tank empty. Three rounds to go after this one for Fishman and to survive. Again, the pace just stepped up here by Lenny Dawes. Now, I remember in the Ashley Theophane fight um, with Lenny Dawes, Dawes' work rate again was superb right up to round eight or nine, but then he just drifted a little bit and just took his foot off the gas and that allowed Ashley Theophane back in. Hey, and obviously won the contest. I say, you don't have to get that belly back. It's all about it. You remember it. You have to get 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 it. But again, this is a like a broken record on them. But just keep changing angles. Again, no, Lenny Dawes dominant here. A little right up a cut downstairs. That hurt his opponent definitely. Look how Peachman is going backwards after taking that shot. Dominant with the jab. That's a super punch. Basic shot. So effective. Get your angles back. Yeah, He's yeah, going. Yeah. He's tired. He's stepping back. The body shots are making him step back. So it's more body punch here. Yeah? yeah, but only when Be you're careful. close here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get out around the side. Someone's looking for that big over here night now. Big over him, right? Yeah, so yeah. Yeah. Okay. Stay there, stay there. All right. Nice and relaxed. Nice and relaxed. Come on, most open. Three rounds to go then. And Lenny Dawes, three rounds away, surely, from a potential shot at Denis Shafikov for the European title. He's outworked and outclassed. Vila Pishman. He's very, very game, but he's not in this fight. And this has been impressive so far from Dawes. Since he lost that British light welterweight title to Ashley Theophane, he's beaten Stuart Green, Chris Truman and Dean Mills, but this has been up another level. And he'll need to go up another level if he fights Shavikov. Yeah, a bit of a change in tactic here, Dave, from Peachman, and I think they've said to him in, in that corner that he's way behind, he needs the knockout, so he's going forward now, trying to get close to Lenny Dawes, and he's concentrating now on his jab with that right hand over the top, that's the shot he's looking for, and he's trying to get close to, to, to Dawes. Again, that crowd get behind doors. Lenny, Lenny rings around this really excellent arena. And doors looks like he's going to end up with the EU Super Lightweight Championship at the end of this evening. And then can fight for the EBU title against Shafikov. And looks to go to the body, that's what the corner have been telling him to do. Again, Peachman and looks a little slow on his feet. I think Peachman and his corner maybe thought that Dawes wouldn't be able to sustain this work rate, but he has. And he's getting strong, it would appear. I think this is a great display in terms of his work rate from Dawes. Again, Peachman and open, again he's moving backwards, he's looking tired. And again, you feel he's there for the taking here. Well, that was good because he got caught with the left up there, but then he came back, didn't he, Dawes? So really replied very positively. And again, Pishmanen wants to hold on on the inside. Those are signs as well that he's tiring. Good left hook there from Dawes. Glancing blow, but it was a painful one for Pishmanen, who is trying to open up and almost trying to throw the Hail Mary punch here, Pishmanen. Dawes has to be careful, but Peachman and caught with an uppercut there as he came forward again. I just looked over to Peachman and corner then, Dave. They were getting quite excited. I think he landed with a good left hook, but Dawes replied. He's landed with the odd good shot in this round, but again, another dominant round for Dawes. 